It is impossible. It is very difficult. It's tough. It's hard. I, I can never get it. In fact, I give up. Please raise your hand if you've ever used any of these phrases. Well, I should be at the forefront of that because I use it a lot. But how can the impossible be possible? Well, I guess I'll just take out the I and push out the M. And maybe I'll be left with a possible, right? Or maybe not. Do you know there can be an evolution from the impossible to the possible if you believe? For you to achieve this, you must be able to accept that there is only one definition to the impossible, which is the acceptance of defeat. What I mean by this is that if I term a task as impossible, it means I have given up. That task has overcome me. It means that task has defeated me. Just think about this. Think about the technology you use today, from your mobile phones to this light bulb to the air conditioning, at a point in time in the past, these things have been classified as impossible. To make the impossible possible, challenge yourself. President John F. Kennedy once said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they're easy, but because they are hard. Because the goal will serve to measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept. One that we are unwilling to postpone and one we intend to win. In short words, set a goal, challenge yourself, and win. To make the impossible possible, you must be ready to fail. Statistics say that about 80% of every startup business fails. That's a very high number. It seems failure is very rampant. But what is failure? My favorite definition of failure comes from one of Thomas Edison's quotes. He says, I have not failed. I have only found out 10,000 ways that never worked. <laughs> to Thomas Edison, there was nothing like failure. Failure is just a solution. It's a trial that never worked. I have failed so many times in my life, but I always love to share this very funny experience of failure that I had, but please try not to laugh. I was a kid at the time. I was about five years old, but I loved magnets. They were like my favorite play toys. One day I didn't have my magnets anymore, so um, I decided I read in one of my brother's books that I, was, I could create a magnet, an electromagnet, and I was, I was happy. I, I was going to create one. After a series of trials and errors and experiments, finally, I, I did get it to work. And it worked. I was happy. But there was a problem. It was weak. It wasn't as strong as the normal magnets I had. I knew it was the power. But how could I solve this? I thought to myself, wow, there's electricity in the wall. That's really high power. I could get that to work. I asked my elder brother about this. And he told me, Francis, that's foolish. Don't try that. I was certain it was correct. So, when everyone had left home, I tried my experiment. I took it, I went to the wall, and I plugged it in. Boop! I was electrocuted. <laughs> you know, till today, I keep on thinking. It was a big failure to me as a kid. But more so, it was an experiment I never understood why it didn't work. Probably that's what made me the engineer I am today. 
So you see, even as a kid, it's possible to fail, but one thing you should know is I did learn something. I learned that electricity is dangerous. So even as a kid, you say, I still learned, I still learned that, you know, you learn from failure, and that was pretty exciting. That was one thing I, I gained as a kid. <laughs> to make the impossible possible, take a risk. A very successful businessman I once met told me, he told, he said, Francis, always take an intelligently calculated risk. The reason being that when you intelligently calculate your risks, you would be able to know why you're taking that risk from your gains and your losses. Think about this. Think about a time in your lives when you've taken a risk at work, at home, in your business, you would realize that the times you have come to overcome the impossible are the times you have intelligently calculated your risks. To make the impossible possible, you must be ready to persevere. Three years ago, I, I was still in Nigeria at the time. Many of you may not know this, but in Nigeria, we hardly had a constant electricity supply. I wanted to be an app developer. How, how was I even going to power my computer? It was almost, it looked foolish. But I really did want to become an app developer. And I told my family about this. I told my friends. They were like, Francis, that's crazy. Even people in Nigeria, they barely, like very few people even owned the iPhones. But I was certain I knew what I wanted to do. And I told myself, I want to be an app developer. And so, with a very old MacBook, with almost no electricity power supply, with a very slow internet access. In fact, it used to take me about five days of constant download to download the software development kit for, for my development. I had to do this five times before I got the one that worked with my old Mac. But today, I am a co-founder of one of the most successful app development companies in Nigeria. That wouldn't have been possible if I did not persevere. Ambition is the path to success. Perseverance is the vehicle you arrive in. What drives you? Why do you want to succeed? What will you gain by succeeding? Thomas Edison had over a thousand trials before he could finally create the light bulb. Today, that light bulb lights up the world. Finally, to make the impossible possible, or I would rather say, to make the impossible your success story, never stop learning. I would end with a connotative, an Igbo connotative phrase from my dad. It's in my native language, Igbo. He says, Which means, while looking, learn. Even the unimportant things are important at the right time. And at the right time, what you have learned from looking could be your most valued asset. Again, I say to you, challenge yourself. Be ready to fail. Take a risk. Persevere. But above all, never stop learning. Only then will you see the evolution from the impossible to the possible. Thank you.